Hey kids, we actually made it to the night market. And it's not raining, and it probably won't rain. Knock on monkey wood. So we're gonna go check out the market. big as like the normal VB flea, but there's still a shit ton of people down here and it's a good vibe. Okay, so Dumb Monkey just recorded an entire sequence with the microphone not in front of me, but on the strap of my little man purse and the microphone was behind me. So you probably got all the uh, background noise, which then became the main noise. All right, so anywho, we're sitting here at where the hell are we? I was gonna say three ships out of habit. We're sitting at Pink Dinghy. We've been waiting for a while for a table to open up. There is a table open, but they have not approached us to take a seat at it. And I really want them to because I'm so freaking hungry. And I was hungry way the hell back then. So anyways, yeah, we're waiting for food, but this is fun. I'm not eating keto because I'm probably gonna get the steak tacos. So it's, it's kind of keto-ish except for the tortillas, but fucking I'm hungry. So, and I've been good, so I deserve it. We had a lot of fun at the night market and we had good food. I definitely did not eat keto. I got steak tacos. Oh my God, they were so delicious. But I did eat the tortillas. The one thing that I've started to notice now after doing this for over a month at first, because I was hungry because I had changed my diet and I was eating so many vegetables and all that kind of things, which was unusual for me because I was usually eating just big, heavy, greasy crap, is that I found myself ravenously hungry when I first started doing it. Now it's sort of leveled itself out and I find myself not needing or even wanting to eat that much. I didn't even really want to eat the last one but I felt like if I didn't eat it, then I would be hungry the rest of the night. So I ate it and whatever, you know, that was sort of like my treat and I rather enjoyed it immensely. And we didn't have tea or dessert or anything like that because we were both pretty full and that was perfect. So I didn't eat that much for breakfast and I feel perfectly fine with that. Now I'll be drinking a shit ton of water because I'm being walking around Pleasure House Point and it's hot. I don't know what else I have planned today. There is no plan. And I'm happy with that because I don't really want to feel like I have to adhere to any kind of a schedule this weekend. I need some freedom after the past at least two weeks of, of just being a slave to the day job schedule, which dictated everything else. So none of that shit this weekend. Let's go to Pleasure House Point. And I have the ND filter on here now, so I'm going to bring it along and, and, you know, I don't know. If I find something interesting that you can even remotely see, you know, I'll show you. Otherwise, yeah, let's go see some birds. All right, Smart Monkey is taking the opportunity to sit in this nice shaded area with the landscaping and the benches and a nice warm bottle of water to rehydrate because I'm schwitzing and I like it because it's still not gross out. This would be perfect summer if it were this temperature, you know, like in the upper 70s, very low 80s. With a nice breeze, it'd be perfect. I wish it was like this year round, but I'm not moving to Southern California. There, drink half my water. So because I've had luck with seeing a couple of the bigger birds over there in that little pond, I'm gonna cut through and walk over there. Then I'll cut back through the woods. So jackpot, I actually got a great blue heron who let me get pretty close. And then he didn't like it, so he took off and I was able to get some in-flight shots too. All right, kids, another fun time at Pleasure House Point. It is 80 degrees, so it only went up by like a degree. Not to say that I'm not completely schwitzen, I just did my little ooze into the forerunner with the AC blasting routine that I always do when I walk out of there. So now I'm cool enough to actually start driving home. And I don't know what the day is going to bring, but I'm sure that it will be just wonderful. I'm not gonna blather on today. I'm just gonna give you this quick video. I showed you the night market last night, which again was great. We had a really fun time and good food. And today, Pleasure House Point, gorgeous day, 
it's only noon. I mean, because we got up so early, I've, I've already accomplished pretty much any one thing I wanted to accomplish today, with the exception of grocery shopping. I don't want to accomplish that. I freaking hate going grocery shopping, but you all know that already. So that's all you get for today. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, leave them down below. As always, thanks for joining me. Be sure to like and subscribe. And remember, kids, forward and up.